Well, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a short video. Well, it may or may not be short. Um, I'm going to do a video on uh, some more work on that timber frame building that I built the trusses for a few videos back. And I'll show you what, is, what we're working on today. So we've got the tractor with the forks here in the back of the kiln. You can hear the fans are really working good. Um, the kiln was filled with this material, which is, uh, it's about five and a half by three and a half. And it's actually all of the wind braces for the timber frame building. And I had uh, a bunch of boards stacked in it above it. And they were down to like 12%. And I'm like, I got to get them out of here so that I can get to this stuff. This stuff is, uh, I think it's like 14% or so, but I didn't measure way over there because the stack of boards was on top. Anyways, it's not completely dry, but it's dry enough that I can put it back on the sawmill and resaw them. Some of them are a little, have a little bow to them. Uh, they're not all the same thickness, so the plan is to get them sawn down to like oh uh the like three and an eighth by uh five and an eighth because i'm going to take them down to the shop and plane them down to exactly three by fives and then do all the um tenons on each of the end so they're basically ready to go so that's the plan is to empty the kiln and put all the stuff in the sawmill and resaw it All right, the other reason I wanted the kiln empty is because I want to put this pile in the kiln. <clears throat> I still, that's the last pile that, these two piles are the last piles that had not been through the kiln. And I definitely want to try to get that one in the kiln today you know, it's the end of December and it's like 40 and we've had very little snow. The ground's not frozen. Very, very unusual. But I, I can guarantee you that it's going to snow here at some point. And that pile is kind of in the way of plowing snow. So that pile's going in the kiln today. All right, the next load of ash is in the kiln. I got some, it's almost all one inch uh, quarter saw and stuff, but there's some inch and a half stuff in here as well. All right, I'm going to close it up. It's going to stay in there for a oh, month and a half at least. We'll see you in sometime in February. <laughs>
Well, I'm sawing this stuff really slow because um, if I saw any faster, the blade will have a chance to ride up over. It's not completely buried in the cut sometimes. So there's only that many to do. So I'm just going as slow as I can and uh, try to get them as straight as I can relatively. They're all going to be run through the planer. Hopefully they'll come out close to three by five and we can take it from there. All right, we're off to the shop to get them all planed up to the exact sizes of three by five. And then we're gonna start cutting the uh, tenons on the ends to make them into wind braces. All right, I'm gonna saw these in two batches because I can't get them all in here. They're just gonna be piled up and then just in the way, so. And I probably won't film all of it. I know I won't film all of it because uh, here we go. We're gonna uh, plane these things up.
Well, I'm getting these down to exactly three by five because I can. Um, taking the time to join them because they're not perfectly straight and I want to make sure this edge is square. And I'm running the uh, laminate trimmer with a, a rounding over bit on them because it's just going to make it easier to handle and they're going to be potentially in a, a nice finished uh, space. So taking a couple more steps than I normally would to make braces because these aren't normal braces. <laughs> if you're really interested in watching me make uh, wind braces and give a full description, um, all you have to do is go to part two of building a temporary the temporary sawmill shed. It's way back in one of the early videos that I put out. And uh, there you have it. Go there and enjoy it. There they are, all of the uh, braces, and oh, what a pain in the neck. They, uh, making braces is not my most enjoyable thing, but these are really heavy and uh, slippery. If you don't wear gloves with this, these lightweight rubber-coated gloves, they're just hard to handle. But anyway, I got them all done. Uh, the next thing to do is I'm going to uh, start making up all uh, uh turning all the oak pegs for the building so i think that's it for this short video um i'll get to turning pegs tomorrow all right stick around there's more videos coming